knee OA. Short for osteoarthritis. We will learn about the cardinal signs and the calgary Lorentz grading of the knee osteoarthritis. Now the cardinal signs, uh, you can learn these by the mnemonic scores. S, C, O, R, S. S is for space. Space is the joint space, which is narrowed. C is for cyst. There are subcondyl cyst formations taking place. O is for osteophytes. Osteophytes. These are present at the joint margins. R is for remodeling. Remodeling basically means uh, the change in the shape of the bone, which leads to usually a varus deformity in a uh, typically uh, OA case, or in some rheumatoid cases, it leads to a valgus deformity. S is for last, S is for sclerosis. This is also present subcontinually. So the mnemonic scores. Now the next section is the KL grading. This is the Kelvin Lorentz grading. This grading was uh, initially uh, given for uh, various sites like the for the knee, for the hip, for the uh, C-spine, for the uh, lumbar spine, uh, the facet joints of these uh, spine. Now, uh, what are the components of this uh, KL grading and how to remember it efficiently? The basic uh, parameters used in this grading are uh, the presence of osteophytes, the presence of joint space narrowing, and the presence of any remodeling or any deformity. Now the grade 0 is basically the your normal joint. None of the changes will be present in this case. Grade 1 is your uh, doubtful uh, OA which will have a doubtful presence of any osteophytic lipping. Uh, lipping is basically your uh, any synovial joint. It uh, responds to cartilage damage by the formation of some bony spurs at the, at, at the margin of the joints which is called as osteophytic lipping. Now your grade 2. Grade 2 is your basically a mild variety of uh, osteoarthritis which will have some definitive presence of osteophytes or any osteophytic lipping. So you can remember grade 2 by your presence of osteophytes. The rest of the changes will be uh, either doubtful or not present. Grade 3 is your moderate osteoarthritis. It will have the cardinal sign of grade 3 is the definitive presence of a joint space narrowing and deformity or remodeling will be doubtful. Fourth is your severe variety of osteoarthritis which will have a definitive deformity or a remodeling. Now uh, the grade of the osteoarthritis does not correlate with your clinical uh, decision making. This is just for your uh, academic purpose. Now once again how to easily remember the grade of the classification. Grade 2 is uh, grade 1 is basically a possible presence of an osteophyte. Grade 2 is signified by the definitive presence of an osteophyte. Grade 3 will have a definitive presence of a joint space narrowing and grade 4 will have a definitive presence of a remodeling or a deformity in the joint. Thank you.